right, off to uh, Minnesota. Wendy, hi. Hi. Thanks for watching and calling tonight. How can we help? Well, I was wondering on lambs, what's the importance of racking a lamb? Well... Racking a lamb. Are you, uh, Wendy, are you talking about like when we put them uh, in the show rail? Yep. Where we put them up like that? Uh, we use that as a training tool at home and, okay. uh, and a conditioning type thing. Uh, from a sales perspective, it's a tremendous show tool for us. It really shows off the lambs to their best advantage. So we've been doing more and more of that. But where, uh, where it comes into racking them at home, if you think about how a sheep show is judged, you know, 75% of that show, and Kevin, you can chime in here anytime, is, is judged on the profile. Right. they got to look good on the profile. Mm -hmm. And so the longest duration you're going to be in the show ring, you're gonna, the judge is going to be viewing that, ram from, that lamb from the side. Right. So that lamb's got to be used to standing still, four feet on the floor, you know, with his head up and looking right. And, that's not in a, and it takes conditioning, conditioning for both the lamb and the, and the person. And if you've got several sheep you're working with, you can put them in a rack and they get used to standing there with pressure on their hind end, with pressure <laughs> on, their, on, their, on their rear end, and on their top and loin, flexing those muscles so that they're conditioned to stand in that show ring for, depending on your show, for anywhere from 8 to 15, 20 minutes at a time, standing still driving. So a rack's really helpful with that. And also they get used to just standing still. So right. the, if the judge can't get a good look at that lamb and he's not standing still, it, you're not going to have the desired results that you'd like. And again, that's practice, 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 obviously, at home. Yep. I, and all that kept, kept coming to mind was never try to teach a pig to sing. It just irritates the pig and frustrates mm -hmm. you. But mm -hmm. truly, that is what you have to do. It's because this is an animal that's not used to doing that. Right. I right. mean, they're not inclined to do that. So it truly is something that's, that's maybe against its nature, which... Again, it's a learned a learned thing, and and that's part of the judging process. Mm -hmm. The fact that you've been able to work with this this animal to, to make it do that. So. That's a good point. And kids, uh, I think need to. Uh, uh, Kent and Mark alluded to this. They need to be a, a team with their animal, mm -hmm. and and the only way to do that is to get acquainted with it and uh, to build a trust between the animal. Because, you know, sheep are uh, fight or flight animals. And uh, they're not used to being uh, handled the way we do in show sure. ring. And the way to do that is get acquainted with them when you say Mark and get, a, yep. get them accustomed to you. Hold, same thing with pigs. Yeah. And, and it's spending time with them, working with them at home. If it was easy, anyone could Nobody do it. Nobody could yeah. do it. You betcha.